It's magic. Magic spot home. Hello guys, welcome to Magic. In this video, we will talk about all about 4G cameras, why they are getting popular, what all things you should consider while buying a 4G camera, and how to troubleshoot while installing the same. So let's start. There are many remote areas where there is either poor Wi-Fi connection or no Wi-Fi connectivity at all. But in order to see live videos, you need Wi-Fi connection at camera location. Hence, 4G cameras can be used in areas such as farms, construction sites, terrace, where Wi-Fi availability is not readily available. Put the normal SIM card that we normally use in our phones. Recharge it with minimum data plan. Data is used only when you want to see live and very minimum data is used so you don't have to worry about data usage. And if you face power issues, then you can go for solo SIM cameras as well. So SIM cameras are getting very popular nowadays. Now let's talk about what all things we should consider while buying a SIM camera. First of all, make sure that the SIM camera is all SIM supportable. And second thing you have to consider is about the SIM. You have to check the network of the area where you actually have to put the camera. So for example, there might be good network in your area of Airtel, but inside your flat where you actually have to place the camera, the network might not be there. So just check which network is coming and then buy SIM accordingly. Now let's see how to distinguish between the SD card and the SIM card slot. The SIM card slot will always be smaller and slimmer than the SD card slot. The slots are actually located on the neck of the camera. You have to rotate it and you have to open the flap. Inside it, you will find a SIM card slot and a SD card slot and a reset button besides it. You can also find the reset button on the wire. On the wire, there are three kinds of wire. One is the uh, power button, the second one is the LAN cable and the reset button. But please note how to reset a camera. For reset the camera, you have to press the reset button continuously for 6 seconds till you hear a sound from the camera. After that, put the SIM and follow all the installation steps once again. But please make sure that do not press a reset button multiple times because it could damage your camera. Now let's see how to put a SIM inside the camera. The cut portion will always go inside and you will hear a click sound while inserting the SIM card. That means it's successfully been installed. Even after this, if the problem persists and the SIM is not getting detected, then try with a different SIM. Sometimes we don't want to run a camera on SIM. Can we connect it with our Wi-Fi, our home Wi-Fi? Yes, absolutely you can do that. But make sure that your camera has three wires. One is your LAN wire. LAN wire is necessary in order to connect with Wi-Fi. Without LAN, you can't connect. So a lot of questions we have covered so far. Hope you like this video and do check your power connection. And uh, in case of any query, do contact us, call Magic Customer Care. And thanks a lot for watching this. Please like and subscribe so that we can make a lot of videos. Thanks a lot.